Well, greetings, Black Witches, and thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple freezer spell. Now, I'm going to show you a simple freezer spell because freezer spells are really supposed to be simple. Let's not overcomplicate this level of witchcraft. All you really need, or the goal of this, is to just stop someone from annoying you or causing conflict by their slanderous remarks or perhaps you know they're wanting to take you to court or threaten you or causing you some sort of strife in your immediate life and what you want is for this person just to go away now traditionally um, in uh, early hoodoo american history you would do this type of spell with some sort of uh, uh, gosh, let's think, like a chili pepper. I've done it with beef tongues before. but And you can do that and they get great results as well. The problem is, have you ever walked into a butcher and asked for a beef's tongue? Right? Just go and do it. So unless you're living in some area that offal is sold freely over the counter, I guarantee you, you're going to get some weird ass looks. In fact, I encourage you to have someone tape you or video you at the butcher while you're asking for all these various bits and pieces of animal. I've done it when I've been back in Australia on the central coast and I've needed uh, a beef's tongue and different lamb parts and the butcher says well you know we can order this in but it's gonna take a little while what do you need it for? And I look around me, you know, there's a little old lady and there's a mother and a kids and, you know, just so well, I'm cooking a traditional country stew, you know. And, you know, some of the younger people know that I'm bullshitting, but hey, doesn't matter. Point is that it's really difficult. And when you see all of these really difficult spells online and who's supposed to be doing it correctly, it's going to make you feel firstly like you're not doing it right. And secondly, you'll probably feel like you're not going to do it at all until you have the right ingredients. And folk magic isn't about perfectionism. It's not scientific. It is folk magic. The ability for this spell to manifest is a lot higher than you following uh, mine or anyone else's uh, words or suggestions to a T. Okay, that being said, let me suggest to you a way that you can do a modern freezer spell, but keeping the elements that you really need to be able to be successful in this type of spell. So let me give you a quick overview of this spell so you can get a good idea of what you should do and then we can go into a little bit more detail later. What you'll need is an ice cube tray, you'll need some water, you'll need either, if you don't have parchment paper which is up to you, you can use a business card of the person, you can use a photo of the person, if you have a document of the person that they've sent to you, you can use that document. That's probably even better than just using plain old parchment paper uh, because that document is linked or the picture is linked to that individual. It's very hard to get the ingredient of um, hair or nail clippings or so forth from an individual who you're doing this spell on because generally there's a level of conflict or you haven't been in direct contact um, or social contact with this person that may be causing you harm. So you won't have that opportunity. But if you do have the opportunity, you can boil a piece of their hair or nail clipping in a saucepan. And then once that's cooled down, you can use that water for this spell. Now, I also recommend that you actually burn on a cauldron two of my favorite herbs that um, it's really quite good for this type of spell. Remember, you don't have to use a herb burnt on a cauldron, but because I'll be saying an incantation or a prayer, if you like, to the spirit to come and actually help me lock this person out, I will actually burn a herb that will be uh, enticing, if you like, or respectful for uh, that spirit. Burning in my cauldron is a charcoal disc, and now that it's got a little bit white, what I will do, I'm going to burn a little bit of a vein. Now, 
in, for black magic purposes, the vein is really good um, if you're doing a spell to contact and speak with Lucifer. So, um, so it's really beneficial to use this herb. Also um, useful for contacting uh, demons and spirits, if you like. And um, Vivert is really good to silence anyone who is going to speak ill of you. So you may want to burn a little bit of that on your charcoal as well. So while I'm not going to give you my incantation to Lucifer, you'll use your own incantation to whatever spirit or deity that you're drawing into your space. But I will actually put the name, I, right now I've got it written on a business card, and I just wrote my name, my own name down here for demonstration purposes. And I'll be calling down to Lucifer, and I'll be saying an incantation, and I'll be saying what my prayer request is. <laughs> And so if you've written a little petition, you could also state that out aloud. Keep it really simple. There's no right or wrong petition that you should say. Just make it relevant to you and your situation. Could be simple as, a, as um, I call upon Lucifer to help me remove this person from my life who is causing me harm and grief, who is trying to uh, take me to court and cause me and my family harm. I ask that you Help me remove and block this person from my life and allow them never to cause me harm again, Nama. Whatever you want to say that feels right to you. If you're doing more traditional hoodoo, you'll be saying a psalm. And if you're stuck on what psalm to say, the Lord's Prayer is always a good one to, um, to use. So uh, the point is that you're calling down to a spiritual energy to give the power to the prayer, to actually link the spirit to the target who you're now going to lock out by the freeze as well. As you're ripping the name into little squares and putting them into your ice cube container, you'll be think you'll be a you'll either say the prayer or the incantation again. You could say the petition again, or you're just thinking about having that person locked out of your life. And then once that's done, you're going to pour in the water. And think about once again, your desire for this spell. So now that it's done, you'll be putting it into the freezer and letting it freeze solid. What I suggest you do, when I used to do a lot of this work myself, this level of freezer type spell, my children are a little bit younger. And the last thing you need is for the children to go to the freezer and have a, <laughs> these little papers floating around in their uh, glasses of water or drinks with um, the power, in my case, of a demon floating around in the jar and my children are then drinking that energy. Not recommended. So what I would do is I'd let that freeze and I would normally put something over it in the freezer that isn't easily visible. So it doesn't look like an ice cube tray ready to be flipped open and used in a, um, in a, a for your drinks. Let that freeze, put something over it, maybe a piece of foil or aluminium or something. And when it's frozen, I would then flip it out into some other type of bag that's also sealed and covered now you can either throw it into the back of the freezer or if you're lucky enough to have a deep freezer go and throw it into the deep freezer the idea is that you want them to stay frozen uh, for as long as possible or, or until the uh, the time of you know their threat to you has passed so what to do when that time is up or the spell has worked what you actually do is then take it outside and I think the best thing to do is go and put it in some sort of um, uh, like right now I'm in Hawaii for example I would walk down and put it uh, empty it out under a big banyan tree and ask for the the spirits of um, the Hawaiian demons or spirits to take this away so I'm, a, I'm releasing it out to nature to the spirits of the nature 
Um, the last thing that you want to be doing is leaving it inside your house where you're leaving that negative energy around you or your family. Even if it's dripping in the sink, you're going to end up with all the little papers um, stuck in your sink. And it's another reminder. So just go and release it out. And then once it's released, it's done. Much of this style of magic is very much a layered approach. So it's one thing that you would do on top of X, Y, and Z as well. Okay, I've had a lot of success with this type of spell in the past for quite simple things. In fact, it's only after you know a period of time when you're reflecting upon a type of spell that you did, you think, wow, yeah, actually that person didn't bother me again and I didn't have to think about them again. So that's really cool that this must have worked. So um, I encourage you to take little notes when you do spells. Okay, blessed be and see you next time.